feedback has been, uh, this is great, add more features, because okay. we want to spend more time doing this. And then uh, the other feedback is, hey, make it work for server. Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Atlassian Demo Den. This is a monthly look into what's been shipping in Jira Software Cloud by the makers of Jira Software. My name is Bernie Ferguson and today we're joined by Alistair, who's a product manager on Bitbucket to Jira integrations. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Perfect. And you're going to tell us a little bit about something that you're working on with uh, VS Code integration. That's right, yeah. Um, uh, earlier this year, we released Atlassian for, for Visual Studio Code, VS yep. Code, version two adds support for server and data center customers, cool. which is awesome, uh, along with more, uh, more Jira fields, so you can, uh, you can act on more Jira issues uh, than you were in, able to in the previous versions. The extension's all about saving time, right? Okay. So we've added some extra time-saving features that are unique to having both products in one place inside your IDE. Okay. Uh, such as um, there's a there's a start work screen. So when you're ready to start work on an issue, you yep. can uh, with with kind of one screen you can get going. You can create a branch, um, transition an issue into in progress, and and get going. And that means your Jira data is up to date. We brought all of the um, all of the, the fundamentals from Jira right. and Bitbucket right into into VS Code, so you can yep. uh, you can view all of your issues, uh, you can view all of your pull requests, you can create issues, create pull requests, review pull requests. Um, you can you can also view pipelines, so you can really take an issue from hey, I need to do this thing, to hey, this thing is in production, all without leaving uh, VS Code. And can you do anything with commenting? Like, can you like edit some code, put some comment in there, maybe put a Jira ticket item in there, just so, so you know where, what's happening? One best practice is yep. to, is to if you've got some tech debt you found while you're working on a feature, yep. maybe add a comment saying, hey, we need to clean this up to do, right? Yep. Um, and so we've taken that one step further by letting you quickly create a Jira issue yep. from, from the code, uh, it's and it once you've created the issue, we we insert that uh, issue key right back into the code, so it's it's there for other developers to come back and, and see. And if you're in VS Code and you hover your mouse over a uh, over an issue key, we'll actually show you the details of that issue in a pop in, so you can awesome. always know the status and maybe more details about what's going on with that thing. So cool. great for tracking uh, tech debt alongside your features. So now it's time for the spicy question of the month right. segment. So this is basically you know, top voted tickets that we get through the Atlassian community and thank you everyone for sending your comments and feedback through the community. But we've been relatively nice to you today, so you'd be happy with that. This is uh, kind of not quite spicy on the, uh, on, the, on the spicy meter, but it's around that prickly range, mm. right? So basically what I've, the sentiment seems to be relatively positive about this feature, but what we want to know is like, what are the features that are upcoming? What are you working on? Take us through your backlog um, so we can get an idea of what's coming next. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so the the reception has been has been quite positive. Um, we've it's mainly been, hey, we really like this, but make it do more of the stuff that I can do in Jira and Bitbucket every day, right? Sure. Um, so we've been working to add more of those more of those features, and we'll continue to do that. But um, we're also looking into how can we make this this extension really easy to get set up with. So being able to import your filters and and board views from from Jira, for instance. Well, thanks for your time today, Alistair. That's a wrap for this month's Demo Den. Please head along to the Atlassian community, and there's a link there. And um, Alistair, you'll be able to hang out there and answer any questions. Um, and there's anything else you wanted to share? Yes, that you can uh, install the VS Code extension from the link below. Cool. Have a great month. See you then. I'm going to give it another go. Let's start from the top. Uh, Not ready. I'm not ready. No, I just want to have like the five, the five things that I just mentioned. I don't want to forget any of them. So, um. decided to develop to make it as clean, a clean user experience. <laughs>